So yesterday, I made a video about a bunch of new Sonic toys which had just been announced out of nowhere. And wouldn't you know it, today, another awesome toy has been announced out of nowhere. So let's talk about it. But before we do that, my dear, here is a message from our sponsor. Subscribe and click the bell icon or I shall come for your souls. Thank you. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the brand new awesome toy that's just been announced from Hasbro Gaming. So Hasbro Gaming make the Monopoly board games. You know what that game is like. I'm pretty sure virtually everybody has one of those in their house. It's the property game where you go around the board buying property until you get all the property on the board or have more money than everyone else or everybody else goes broke. It's a fine example of capitalism. But anyway, they've made a bunch of spin-offs of Monopoly, and Monopoly Gamer is one of those spin-offs. Usually these involve you going around the board, and the winner is the one who gets the most points at the end of the game. Well, today, they've just announced they're doing a Sonic version. Now, this isn't the first time that there's been a Sonic Monopoly. In fact, it's not even been the second time. The original Sonic Monopoly was released several years ago now, and it's quite a highly sought-after piece of merch. The second Sonic Monopoly game was based off Sonic Boom. It wasn't as popular. So this third Sonic Monopoly game, the Monopoly Gamer Edition, I did actually expect them to make this when they announced the original Mario one, so I'm not surprised in the slightest. So since quite a lot of details have been revealed, let's actually take a look at what's inside this game, or how this game differs from a typical Monopoly game. So the only playable characters are Sonic, Knuckles, Tails and Amy, which um, it's actually quite a small number of playable pieces, you know, but I thought they might actually at least bring in a couple more characters. But anyway, so there's only four characters that you can choose from. So what about the actual board itself? Because normally when a Sonic Monopoly is announced, people are really interested to see what the board's going to be like. And it's, well, personally I'm kind of disappointed. It's mainly modern zones. In fact, the game is very modern Sonic themed. So yay, there's your modern Sonic game. But the thing, the reason why I'm disappointed is because a lot of the modern games, obviously the art assets are made to high definition standard, meaning they're a lot easier to scale. So I'm not that surprised that they have picked the modern versions of the various zones. But with Mania coming out, which was built to be scaled up to high definition display, yeah, I'm just a little bit disappointed there. But anyway, let's take a look at what zones you can actually see. Now, I had a very good close look at the board and the various cards that they have on offer, and I think I've identified pretty much every single purchasable property on the board. Now, they come in like Acts 1 and Act 2, so there's two different property areas per zone. But anyway, here's the zones that I spotted. There's Sky Sanctuary, Rooftop Run, City Escape, Green Hill, Planet Wisp, Chemical Plant, Speed Highway, and Seaside Hill. It's an okay selection of zones, I guess. You know, nothing's really making me scream or go crazy or be super excited at the moment. But let's take, um, let's take a bit of a more closer look at it. Now, another big thing that's different from this is, you know how on the standard Monopoly, you get either the Waterworks or the Electric Company? Well, they don't have that on this. Instead, they have boosters and ramps that you can take, and these allow you to get various power-ups, which get you more points for either yourself or other players on the board. So that's one big difference with the game. And also, in fact, another big difference is the actual Go sign. You know, in Monopoly, when you go past Go, you collect 200 pounds or two hundred dollars well in this game that doesn't happen you get a bonus amount of points and you can actually fight against a boss there's various boss cards and if you look to the top of the board you can see all your favorite villains we've got Eggman Chaos and Metal Sonic and the other villains that are nobody's favourite villains. And for some reason, Omega is there as well, so I don't know what's going on with there, because Omega is not a villain, which is kind of weird. And Infinite is there, and I'm sure someone will care. 
So there's a couple more little tweaks to this being a gamer edition of Monopoly as well, like all the different characters have different special moves which they can trigger, the, you know, the player can actually use them at certain points. I think it's either with special rolls of the dice or by playing a card. I'm not 100% sure, the press release isn't 100% clear with that one. But it is interesting how the different characters do have different special abilities which either benefit the player or in some cases it seems can benefit other players on the board as well. So. Yeah, I'm going to be quite interested to see how that pans out. So in the press photos, they do actually provide images of the actual figurines. And this is kind of a really important thing. You want to get the figurines right for these board games because a lot of collectors will just buy the board games just for the little figures. And oh boy, what have they done? Now, I understand this is supposed to be like a cheap mass market thing because obviously they want this to go out with as many people as possible. And it's a board game which has an RRP of about $25. So the figures aren't going to have that much effort put into them. But look. Look at the eyes! What is wrong with Sonic's eyes? Now, yeah, Sonic does have green eyes, and I'm not complaining about the fact his eyes are green, but he looks like an alien. And he's not the only one with problems. If you look at the other image of, I think, believe it's Amy, and Tails for that matter, they've completely co coloured their eye pupils, either green or blue, and it just looks weird. Knuckles is the only one that actually looks kind of okay. That's just... It's just creepy. You know, they're supposed to, like, Sonic's supposed to have a black eye pupil, and I believe Amy's supposed to be kind of the same. But that just looks weird. So, yeah, I think the figures might need a bit of a touch-up before they get released final. Otherwise, they kind of look okay. Um, one of the images, Sonic actually has a lot of paint errors on. You can really see around the arm there. It looks like the paint's either ran or the glue's even run. Doesn't look brilliant. So, yeah, um, it's definitely a cheap figure that one not that impressed with that but anyway that was the sonic the hedgehog monopoly gamer edition it looks it, it's okay i mean the figures look a bit terrifying but otherwise it, it looks all right it looks kind of okay you know for how much it's gonna be and for what they're gonna try and do with that will i get one um if it comes to the uk i will see how much the shops want for it i think yeah i'm not completely sold on it just yet. I think I would rather get the, the Sonic Racers board game or that other board game. I can't remember which one it is. There's another one that IDW made if that ever comes out in the UK. But otherwise, I think it looks okay. So yeah, it. But the, the thing to take from this, it is a board game and it kind of looks okay at the moment. But what about you guys? Are you excited for this? Do you want to get one? Please let me know in the comments if you're going to get one of these board games. And who knows, maybe we should do a live stream board game edition. Thanks very much for listening, guys, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. Subscribe and click the bell icon or I shall come for your souls. Thank you.